you sleep right. well and everything. We can put them out, but you sleep real nice. Mm -hmm. You was quiet all night. But um And he will tell us a little more about, about this little phone we have here named Joey. Alright, um, so yesterday on a hike to um, Tree Sprout Waterfall in um, Mont Lacroix, my friends and I, um, on reaching the waterfall, we saw um, little Joey here on his own. And, um, well, from my little experience, I, every time I saw him, I thought something was wrong. Because normally, as I say from my little experience, he wouldn't be on his own there without his mom. So we um we spent about I would say half an hour with him and um we left. And it was on my mind very very concerned. I am um, I had to go back and make sure he was okay. So my son and I um went back like about we we actually reached there, reached him reached by the water by the waterfall about about seven last night, yeah, and um, fortunately he was still there, or unfortunately, <laughs> if I could say it like that too, um, he was still there, so um, we took him, secure him, and um, and we get him out of the bush. Um, well, he's, um, he was really, really calm and everything on the, on the way out, on the drive back to Maracas, yeah. And, he spent the night cool and calm, didn't give no trouble all night. He slept well. Um, actually had to get up this morning and make sure he was okay um, for how quiet he was all over the night. So, um, and as you see here, he's still happy and, and calm. And I hope from here on, you guys will take very good care of him and see the best after him. Yeah. Well, from all of us at WEFT, the Wildlife and Environmental Protection of Trinidad and Tobago, we'd like to thank you, Mr. Doon, for doing the writing and saving this orphan phone. Good, thanks. Here we have Joey, the rescued red bracket there, and he's been doing very well so far, and well, we're going to take care of him and have him fostered until he can fend for himself. Joey here, we suspect, is a victim of poaching. Due to the evidence that we have, there has been a lot of poaching in the area of Marcus where Joey was found and we suspect that his mother was poached which eventually left him abandoned with no one to help him fend for himself or even someone to take care of him make sure he has something to eat and make sure that he is protected from predators we strongly advise that something be done about the poaching there are many options we know many are being considered but something has to be done and something has to be done soon we would like to thank Mr. Doon yet again for allowing us the opportunity to take care of this animal and to adopt him and foster him until he is able to fend for himself and protect himself in the wild, his natural habitat and his home. If anyone does come across instances like this, please do feel free to call us first. We will advise you on the situation and then we can go from there and decide whether the animal needs to be fostered or it can be left on its own. 